you know, two two and a half years old, my brother got a got a bike and uh, I I jumped on it before he could. You know, I always wanted oh, I wanted one as soon as I saw one and uh, started off there. You know, and then don't want to say it came natural to me, but I mean, uh, it was something that you know I just progressed at. You know, I mean, it didn't. I enjoyed to ride bikes and then. When I moved to a farm, you know, it was all I did every day was just go and ride bikes and of course you progress, you learn, you learn, you learn. I mean, that's the only way you can get better is by riding. Started racing when I was six. The first year I rode against uh, some pretty quick guys and we got the Queensland titles and it started from there, you know, continued on through 65s. Left Australia when I was 15 and uh, yeah, been in Europe ever since. I was seven years old and you know with Krusty Demon's video you know mum I want to be a Krusty Demon and then of course you know you get a little bit older and you realise that that's the freestyle side of things I want to do. I want to be a supercross rider and then you know sort of progressed on and I, I found out you know road bikes was available and I started riding that and I'm like hmm, this is what I want to do you know you come 14 years old bang. This event's awesome I mean in the off-season we're all doing nothing, we're all keen to go racing, so what better thing to do than uh, to come down here in the beautiful summertime and, uh, and ride bikes, you know. With motocross, you know, you go through a corner, you sit on top of the bike, you go through a corner on a road bike, you sort of get underneath it, and that was uh, the hardest thing to learn, and then of course putting the knee on the ground and, and everything like that, and then now, now you're down to elbows all the time and whatnot, it's just... Uh, it's an incredible feeling, especially with the MotoGP bike. You got bigger tyres, bigger engine. You get to play more with the bike. For me, coming from dirt track, it sort of it comes more natural to me. I feel more more at home with the bike moving. <laughs> the first time you hit 350, it, it gets real. You know, I mean, <laughs> you start to see that tunnel vision, and you're looking at the corner coming up, and it's coming quick, real quick. You know, they've given me an opportunity that no one's had before. You know, uh, Gary McCoy did it, was the last one to do it from 125ccs to 500s, and I'm the first one ever to go from a Moto3 to a MotoGP bike, so it's a, it's a big ask. No one's ever done it before, and uh, we'll see how we go. Once we were allowed to go public with it all and that, it was, it was awesome, you know, and uh, it's awesome to see, you know, post of people saying, oh, he's going to crash, he's going to do this, he's going to do that, and it just gives you more fuel, I believe, to, uh, to try and prove people wrong. It's something that I've always enjoyed doing, and it's something I don't think I'll ever stop enjoying doing. It's, uh, it's an awesome experience, and I've been lucky enough, you know, fortunate enough to, to be able to do it for a job now, so... Uh, it, couldn't ask for a better thing for a kid who likes to ride motorbikes, that's for sure, to do it as a job.